everyone, I'm LC Gamer, and welcome back to Deathmark. In the last video, uh, we defeated Shimio, and our friend Sho here died horribly. But, we are going to fix that right now. If you guys remember the notes, we, uh, have... Uh, bag notes. Uh... Okay, that tells you how to fight Shimmy. And this one tells you how to take care of the peaceful way. Which means I need the, uh... Honey, 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 honey. With all the honey. Uh, the dried root? No, that was just gonna be killed. Because, after all, it's dried. I need the, uh, plant root. I pour honey on the plant root and throw it in Shimmy's mouth. He initially tries to expel it, but seems to realize something and gulps it down quickly. He happily stuffs his cheeks with the honey-coated root. Now I can finally see my family. He collapses flat on the ground, the deadly poison having invaded his whole body. His face is frozen and into a peaceful smile, like a kid who's just eaten a delicious meal. The bees continue to hover around the still Shimio. I don't send Shimio anymore. Huh, <laughs> serves you right. Show is back to normal. His mark appears to have vanished. Mine is... Well, still there. Alright. From this point on, I'm going to fast forward to the point where the dialogue's going to change, so... And... here we go. Without warning, the light dies. Hey, hey, what are you trying to pull? Don't mess with me like this. It's not me. What's going on? It won't respond. An icy cold shiver runs down my spine. I'm suddenly overwhelmingly afraid, like the dark force is trying to absorb my body. If I could just get the light back on, if we just had it back, I'd feel so much better. I hit the switch repeatedly, silently praying. Just to malfunction. So it was just broken then. Damn, I... I about had a heart attack. Let's get our asses out of here before it does it again. We arrive all... We hurry all the way out and get in the car. Back to the mansion. Hooray! You're finally back. Looks like you were successful, too. The mark's gone. Eh, for the most part, yeah. Mm-hmm. Auto text. Let's see how fast this goes by. All the same text so far. Blah, 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 blah. No use racking our brains over it. Come on, let's ask Mary. Welcome back, Lord Yashiki. It appears that you overcame your fear and cleared away the grudge. It is unfortunate that Shimio was not the one who bestowed your mark. The good news is that at least Lord Sho and Lord Ashida's marks vanished. Ah, uh, now it's back to old information. Uh, another spirit. Okay. And fast forward. Fairly 
recently. If she were to come into contact with a spirit that cursed her, her amnesia would accelerate. And now we have back to you guys. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Old information from our previous talk with all you guys. Maybe it's honey. But it got on you from the, the notebook. But it got on you from the notebook. I never did read that honey-covered notebook, did I? Take it out of my bag and open up the sticky pages. And now I fast forward through it again. And... There we go. After skimming through it, talk to the others. Enough of that crap. Divine wrath, curses, it's too much. Guess I can't write it off then. Yep, he's happy. The kid's not dead. And you're about the same. Yep. Alright. It's almost done. We must end today's investigation. Please rest. I am sure all of you are tired from walking on the mountain. I haven't been this wiped out since the last time I was at baseball club. Sorry, but I gotta go crash. Later. Too much has happened today. I need a break from it all. I'll think about the future more once I've gotten some rest. Well, good night. Shiki decided to leave tomorrow too. Changed her mind? Yeah, pretty much. Anyway, I'm satisfied. That big string of missing persons cases for cases the force couldn't solve. I figured out what was behind it. And I basically closed the honeybee family case I've chased for years. The truth we're seeking can the truth you're seeking can be found here, huh? Mary's something else, isn't she? I can finally visit someone's grave. His expression's still the same, but it feels like he's more at peace. He accomplished what he set out to do. Yeah, Shiki? Yep. And there's that... reckless, uh, angry smile of his. Alright. Uh. Yeah. You owe me a drink, anyway. And now on to the next chapter of our story. Good night. New information was added to the, uh, spirit file. Ah, uh, bag, talk, system. Exit? It's nearly done, I better get some rest. Ooh, talk. Okay, that's what I need to do. I forgot! It's been a while. Yes, yes I am. Good night to you too. Chapter 2, Shimio has officially ended. And now we're moving on to Chapter 3. It's been three days since Shimio's defeat. Mashida and Sho have left, leaving only Christy and I at the mansion. We're not... We've not had any new mark bearers arrive, nor any new info on any spirits. Death's footsteps keep drawing closer. Good work, Lady Christy and Lord Yashiki. Did you obtain any clues? Mm, 
No. Nothing really. I'd hoped, but, uh... I see. Lady Saya's study seemed optimal to contain something of interest. Christy and I just finished investigating Saya's study. It had been full of mountains of specialized books and piles of purports. It was a daunting task, but we did our best to search through them regardless. Except it was full. It was futile. Everything was about healing the spirit, nothing mentioning the mark at all. Hey, Mr. Y Yashiki? Don't you think it's useless to keep searching the mansion? You have any other ideas, then? Well, remember what I said about H. Shrine? Yes? Right. Of course you would. I was thinking maybe the shrine is connected to all the spirit stuff. That's what Chimio's note said, right? Everything that happened in the forest is the divine wrath of H. Shrine. And you think the mark and the spirit activity because of the divine wrath? It's definitely a possibility. Disasters happen in many ghost stories and myths because of the wrath of gods. Isn't there value in looking into it? Hmm, maybe. Exactly what I would expect from you. Always so quick on the uptake. Christy is brimming with confidence. She seems in a much better mood than she was three days ago. She's a famous reporter, after all, so maybe this is what she's really like. So, Mary, I'd like to go see H Shrine. You don't mind, do you? Hmm. It is true, many unpleasant rumors surround that, sh that forest. If the cause is H Shrine, there may be some clues there. But even if there are, if it's spiritual, then how? If it's spiritual, then how are, are normal humans like us supposed to find it? Christy and I don't have spiritual powers. Hmm. In that case, could you bring me along with you to a shrine? I should be able to sense the presence of anything spiritual. I can act as a guide as well. You know that shrine? Yes, in truth. It enshrines the guardian deity of the Kyojo family. Over the generations, the heads have taken care of the shrine. However, that came to an end after the recent war resolved. As one who serves the Kujos, I am concerned about its present state. Then bringing you along would mean I have to carry you, don't I? As it is impossible for me to walk, I would agree with that ass assessment. I am sorry to inconvenience you. An overgrown forest in the dead of night. I'm not looking forward to having to carry Mary all the way to the shrine. You look worn out. And we haven't left. It's a small price to pay if we can get any hints about the spirits. That's true. I think Mary's eager about this too, so I'll just have to deal with it, I suppose. Okay, let's go back to the forest. We leave now to the forest. Before we leave, we put Mary in the back seat. Thank God she's not as heavy as she looks. I should be able to carry her just fine. By the way, Mr. Yashiki, have you read the files over there? She points to the right side of the room, and shelves packed with files. Not yet. I searched most of the mansion, but I haven't checked the garage. Oh, really? Christy grabs a file and flips through the pages. 
looks like articles on various crimes. The clippings cover every incident in each city and the surrounding area. Was Miss Cujo looking into criminal activity? Any of it look related to the mark? No, not as far as I can tell. These are all extremely old. The most recent is dated five years ago. She puts the file back. Alright. Should we head out soon? Yes, yes we should. Time for road trip conversations. I park outside the entrance of the forest and gather Mary into my arms. We make our way to the familiar arch. There's still a long way to go. Middle-aged man carrying a doll. You're practically a ghost story yourself if someone sees you here. I am very sorry to cause you such trouble. Mary stares up at me as I hold her. Her skin and hair glint bewitchingly when the light from the flashlight catches them. I have not been outside in a long time. And to go hiking in the arms of such a fine gentleman. This is a very precious experience. She sounds as dispassionate as ever, but... Is she actually having fun? Still, it's just as the rumors say. This forest is filled with the curses and resentment of the dead. Simply, their presence is enough to drive the living mad. The land is tainted. I can see why it has given birth to monstrous spirits. But if you track down the cause of it, It'll be the Divine Wrath. Let's hurry to the shrine. Yay! The arch. We reach the old Tory gate with no trouble. We stand and watch for a while, but nothing comes out of the beehives. They seem to be sleeping. It is most likely because Shimio is now gone. Eight shrine is up those stone steps. At Mary's direction, we walk toward the gate. A small black shadow flits across our feet. Hey there, buddy. Been a while. It's that rabbit again. Hmm, so this is the rabbit you told me about, Lord Yashiki. You are correct. It is very cute. The rabbit stares up at the two of us. Meh, do you too. Then disappears toward the shrine. What in the world was that about? What do you think, Mary? I felt a strange presence. It appears to be possessed by some kind of soul. So it's a spirit, too. Indeed. Though it does not appear strong enough to give marks to humans, we know nothing of its true nature, so please proceed with caution. We follow the rabbit under the Tory gate and then up the stone steps. At the top we find the wilderness creeping in. There doesn't seem to be anything here but an old altar. Is this H shrine? Sadly, it has fallen into disrepair. The war was over 50 years ago. I suppose this was to be expected. That black rabbit is gone. Deserted shrines give me the creeps. Let's hurry up and get to searching so we don't stay here long. Okay. Well, let's take a look around. Uh, nothing over here. Headless Buddha statues are buried in the ground. Creepy. I wonder what happened here. There's a sacred... Shimin... Uh, 
Chiminawa. I don't think I'm pronouncing that properly. A sacred rope on a ragged boulder. I wonder if that boulder is in Iwakura. What's that? According to ancient Shinto traditions, it's a sacred rock that a god descended on. It's not uncommon for the rock itself to become an object of de devotion. Okay. It's a wooden shrine altar. A clouded old mirror serves as the Go Shintai? Shintai. The Go Shintai. Uh, okay. Looks like it's true that no one takes care of this place for a long time. I peek inside the altar just in case, but all I find is a thick layer of dust. The go Shintai is outside and the altar's empty. That's concerning. I don't think there's any more we can search. The Buddha statues concern me. Why are all the ones within the shrine missing their heads? Shinto and Buddhism were ordered to be separated during the Meiji period. Before then, many shrines were dedicated to both. Each shrine was much the same. But in the Meiji period, there was a push to make Shinto the main religion. The faiths were forced apart. Extremists stole the Buddhist statues from shrines and desecrated them. Oh, the famous anti-Buddhist movement. So this is where that happened. No, it was done in a public space as they wanted to make a show of it. Wow. They, the broken statues were carried here to serve as a memorial for worship. The Kyujo, Kyujo family ha head was said to be aggrieved, so he moved them in secret. It seems that all the broken statues from around each city were buried here. Strange. You said they were worshipped, but this place is pretty much a ruin. You have a keen eye, Lord Yashiki. The shrine was subsequently dug up, and the statues were stolen. So they came all the way into this huge forest just to carry off broken statues? Who would do something like that? That I do not know. I merely heard they were stolen 50 years ago, around the time of the, the war. So, the statues were broken, thrown away, and then dug up. They say the Buddha has a wealth of patience, but even he'd get angry. Could that anger have turned to divine wrath, and given birth to the mark and spirits? Mary? Have you been able to feel the presence of any spirits or whatever? About that, this land is much more foreboding than I had imagined. The enmity I don't think I pronounced that properly, but I don't care at the moment. The enmity of the forest swallows all else. It is hard to sense beneath it. So, too much background noise, right? Yes, although I do sense the same presence as Lady Christie's mark. However faint, I am sure the spirit that gave her the mark is somewhere in the forest. So after all that, we were only able to reconfirm something we already knew. Forgive me, I was unable to. You don't have to apologize, Mary. We learned plenty of 
value here. What do you mean? I'll tell you on the way back. First, let's get the hell out of here. This place gives me the creeps. Maybe it's the ill will Mary sense. Agreed. Time to run. We leave H Shrine walking down the beast trail toward the forest entrance. Maybe it's because of that strange tale, but for some reason I feel like someone is watching us from the darkness of the, the of the trees. Road conversations, we begin driving back to the mansion. As we break out of the dense forest, I can see building lights pop up here and there. Well, that was a complete waste of time. My anxiety lifted, I don't even bother to filter the words that slip out of my mouth. Oh, I don't think that's true. It's all coming together for me. Well, further prodding, Christy starts in on her theory, passing passion evident in her voice. Really, huh? I believe Shimiel was right. Eight Shrine is definitely what's causing all the strange stuff in the forest. I'm sure it's those stolen statues. Don't you agree? I wonder. Feels like we just don't have enough info at this point to say one way or the other. But there's no denying that a lot of strange things are going on in that forest. Between all the suicides and Shimio wandering around, it couldn't just be coincidence, could it? Hmm. Maybe. Maybe not. If we research the shrine, we might learn more about the mark. I feel that's a lot safer than risking our lives looking for the spirit. Don't you think? You might be right. My replies are half-hearted, which isn't what Christy was hoping for, so she falls silent. An awkward, uncomfortable silence settles. Lord Yashiki, please stop the car. Mary speaks for the first time since we entered the car. What is it? I sense a presence similar to Lady Christie's mark close by. Okay. This is going to be interesting. Following Mary's request, I park in a vacant rest stop on the outskirts of H City. Christy and I step out of the car. Ugh. My mark is suddenly scolding. Is something nearby? Look, someone's over there. A small girl steps out of the telephone box. Why is a kid outside at this time of night? Thank you for bringing me out here this late at night, Ita. I got to talk to Hana Yoma? Yomi? Hana Yomi. Oh yeah, glad to hear it. A rather round young man appears, dipping out of the shadows. You got your question answered, Suzu? Yeah, it's okay now. Hana Yomi sure is amazing, though. She knows where everything is. You got that right. She helped me find my limited edition love and hero phone strap I dropped. It's love and hero. What? You don't know? They're a popular idol group here. They've been all over TV lately. I'm surprised you haven't heard. TV's restricted at home. 
My mom says it rots your brain. Oh, Ita, is the bus coming soon? The last bus is on its way. We'd better go. We'll be in big trouble if your mom finds out we went out. Yeah. We watch from a distance for a while, but it's hard to determine their relationship. The pain from my scar is suddenly gone. Hey, Christy? What do you think? I turn, but Christy isn't there. Hey, you there. Just how do you know that girl? Depending on your answer, I'll report you for a child abduction. Well, there goes Christy, hounding the poor guy. Just calm down. I try to placate her, but she won't budge. I, uh, uh... The man stumbles over his words. He looks flustered and overwhelmed. Hey, lady. Don't be mean to Ita. The girl rushes to stand defensively in front of him and glares at us. She seems a lot more level-headed than the flustered guy behind her. I asked him to help me, okay? I wanted to talk to Hana Yum Yomi. I'm gonna have trouble with that until I get it down, so <laughs> give me a few more attempts at that name. So I had him come with me. Who's this Hanayomi you keep mentioning? A ghost who helps find things. People say that you can talk to her from this telephone box. A ghost, huh? She looks at me. We're both thinking the same thing. Earlier the mark was hurting, so maybe... You guys look serious. What's going on? He nervously glances between us. Does this scar look familiar at all? I show them the mark on my right arm. Hey, hold on. What is this? It looks exactly like mine. He pulls off one of his gloves and reveals the mark on his hand. It's the cursed scar, yeah? I saw an article on it in Oparts Monthly. They say it causes amnesia, even kills you. That's nonsense. It's... It, it's not all true, right? Right? Sounds like he had heard the rumors, but chose not to do anything about it. That's not... There's no surprise, really. It's tough to believe it's real until your memory loss starts becoming noticeable. I've got one of those, too. It showed up on my left wrist when I made that phone call earlier. Pulling up her sleeve, she shows us her mark. They both have the mark, and after calling Hana Yomi. That's more than a coincidence. Well, we can't just leave them here. Let's bring them to the mansion. We tell them what's going on and ask them to go to Kyojo Mansion with us. It surprisingly doesn't take much to get them to come. I thought it'd take more convincing. Could partially be because they missed the last bus while talking with us. Before they climb in, I warn Mary to stay quiet until we get back. Might be a bad idea to freak them out. It could be. First we introduce ourselves. The man's name is Ita Nakamatsu. The girl is Suzu Mori Mia? I think I got that right. Uh, they tell us they met through the reader's column in O Parts Monthly. Suzu mentioned she was interested in Hanayomi, and Ita told her what he knew. Then she pestered him into bringing her to the rumored telephone box. They were out this late because of her. Her parents sound pretty strict. Her mother keeps a close eye on her after school, and she needs permission to go out. 
So she snuck out of the house after her mother went to bed. Hanayumi is just as famous at my school as Hanahiko is. Hey, Rita? Please tell them about those rumors. Do I have to? Okay, fine. Rita reluctantly tells us that Suzu's request. They're just rumors I read, but... Chapter 3 Hana Yomi Hey, remember that one story? You know, the one about the public phone box in H-City? There's a ghost that looks like a bride and she'll find what you're looking for. One of my friends actually tried it. We went to the, spe the, spe the specific phone box that lets you talk with ghosts. Whoosh. The phone suddenly started ringing. He slowly picked up the phone. But all he could hear was this weird smacking noise. He stayed on the line until... Did you see it? He heard a woman whisper. So he did what the rumor said to do and said, No, I haven't seen it. Then she said, What do you want to see? His cat had gone missing, so he asked where it was. When he looked where the woman said it was, he really was there. So the rumors are totally true. I went to go ask her where my future bride is now. Oh, wanna come with me? Yeah, boy. That's going to be a tough, uh, opponent. There. I carry Mary from the car and gently place her back on the sofa. Thank you very much. Being in your arms is not bad, but I am most calm when I am here. The doll really talked. I can't say I expected that. And does that mean all that stuff about the mark is true, too? On the way over, we updated Suzu and Ita with just about all they needed to know. They may not uh, completely believe us, but they're not rejecting it outright, either. Seems like Ita, in particular, has already experienced some memory loss. Something about forgetting the names of anime characters or voice actors. Christy looked at him strange, but he appears to be taking it quite seriously. And Suzu snuck out of her house because she believed the rumor about Hana Yomi. They both believed in the occult already. I'm pretty sure they'll help us find a way to escape the mark. Granted, they're also really curious about Hanayomi. Pardon me, but may I speak? The marks on Suzu and Ita, they are likely from Hanayomi and Lady Christy. The feeling I sense from your mark is the same as theirs, so we can assume Hanayomi also gave the mark to you. Do you recall encountering her? Something weird did happen. Right before I entered the forest, I stepped in the phone box on T Mountain. The phone rang out of nowhere. Oh, it might be because of that. The telephone box at that rest area is also in the rumors of Hanayomi. But I didn't pick it up. It creeped me out, so I left. I was never able to give that person one final call because of that. Who are you talking about? It's not for children. It is not for children to know. Fine. 
So there are other phone boxes like that. Uh, I think. There are three that Hanayomi will call from. The one we went to in the H Highway parking lot is one. And one is at T Mountain Rest Area. That's the one Miss Christie went to. And, um, Ita, where's the last one? At the park by T Apartment Complex. It's the only one inside the city. But why just those three locations? Don't know. The BBS I read didn't say. Um, mister? Do you really think Hanayomi is the one who gave us the marks? I'm not sure yet. Really? But the rumors about Hanayomi go back five years, and no one's ever mentioned that if you call her, you'll get a mark. Suzu's right. Rumors about this mark thing only popped up super recently. So you're saying Hanayomi hasn't always been giving out the mark. If that's true, I wonder what triggered the change. Of course, I can't really say, seeing as I don't know anything about spirits. A ghost helping people find what they're looking for is pretty strange. Definitely the definition of a ghost story. Hey, Mr. Yashiki? If those rumors are true, why don't we try asking where the stolen statues are? If we return them to their places, it might just save our lives. Search for the Buddha statues. Christie's right, we might be able to escape the mark without fighting a, a spirit. Mary, what do you think? A good question. Objects with human forms are easily able to gain inexplicable power. Bleeding stone statues, cursed dolls, there are many examples. Historical statues of gods and Buddhas would certainly be no exception. Asking Hanayomi about them would be a good idea. So says the doll before our eyes that has the inexplicable power to talk. Maybe it would be strange that Buddhist statue could bring down divine wrath. Lord Yashiki, may I add? As I explained previously, your mark is. It is different from the others. Vanquishing spirits seem to weaken your mark's power. It's been several days since she told me that I was going to die. Taking care of the spirits we encounter is likely how I'm still among the living. What are you trying to say? I cannot say what the relationship between your mark and Hanayomi is, but it is true it is in your best interest to track down spirits. I hope you will guide these mark bearers this evening as well. Oh boy. I can't really picture Christian Ita facing off against a spirit by themselves. If they failed, then a child would suffer the deadly consequences. That would weigh heavily on me. No turning back. I'll figure something out. Thank you. Mary bows her head slightly. Now, you should begin investiga investigating Hanayomi. Why does she only call from three public phones with an H city? Her secret may lie in the answer. You visited the parking lot already. Please investigate T Mountain and the park by T Apartment Complex. Sure, why not? New info. Sure. And with that, I think I will leave it here for now, and I'll see you guys in the next video when we leave the mansion after picking a partner and investigating our, uh, well, telephone boxes. So until then, see you guys.